Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder as we continue our coverage of Jurassic World Live version 1.14. It is time to look at another new hybrid. Majunga Boa is probably going to be a hybrid that the majority of people are going to be able to create right away. It is the combination of the two rare creatures, Majunga Suchus and Titanoboa Gen 2. I've already gone ahead and fused up 160 DNA. You only need 150 to unlock it. And at 50 DNA per fuse off of each of the two rares, this one should be relatively easy for everyone to create. And the good news about it is it is a super hybrid, which means this is the top of the line for this particular hybrid. So as I create this creature, this hybrid, this snake, it is, uh, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty ferocious looking. For this particular hybrid, level it up as high as you want to if you're going to use it. Like I said, it's a super hybrid. And a lot of people think this could be the Yoshi killer. We'll explore that possibility later on in the week, possibly next week as we start to know more. But for now, I'm going to take this up to level 15 and then take it into the trials just to kind of show it off a little bit. As you can see, I don't try to accumulate either of these two and I have 3,634 fuses on Majunda Suchis, which means I'm probably not going to run out of DNA on this anytime soon. So for now, I will do a 100 fuse, which I think, whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. Wow. Like, I got 520 extra DNA. That should have only been 2,000. That, that, that's great and sad at the same time because that means I'm going to miss all of that juicy DNA right here. So for now, you see that I have a 50 fuse available. I don't see any reason not to. I guess I could rock this all the way up to a 100 fuse. Although 10,000 coins, I don't know that I really want to spend that much leveling this up just yet. Nah, but what the heck. Let's head back over to our Majunga. We will do another 100 fuse. I don't see a 100. This one's not going to be near. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It was only a couple of hundred off, but still not like that first one with the 100 fuse. Wow. Okay. So now we have 103, 10,000 coin. Man, I just, I don't really want to do this, but give me a hundy. It's not going to. There's several 50s in there. This one was only 200 higher. So the worst of my three 100 fuses, but here we go. Let's start evolving this up to... I don't know. I'll probably stop at 15. So that's level 15. I don't know. I I could do another 20 fuse. <sighs> All right. I mean, it's only coins, right? So now I have to go in and get this thing up to 1000 DNA. That should be a 50 fuse. And of course, we get another really nice mass fusion there, which is going to bring me over to here. Drop another 20. And I got 30 extra DNA for that. That's going to take me up to 1940 and away we go. And 19 is going to be the end of the line for Majunda Boa. I could do a few more fuses, but at the end of the day, I'm probably not going to get another 350 out of my few fuses left. It's not even a five fuse. Might as well just drop four more fuses into this. Who knows? Maybe we'll hit a 100 and there you have it. The end of the road. 470 out of 750 to make it level 20. The stats at level 19, 25, 58 health, 7, 10 attack, and 110 speed. No armor, 5% crit. If we look at the abilities of this creature, shielded decelerating strike is a one times attack, 50% shields for one turn, reduced target speed by 50% for two turns. Remember, this is the new, like, beefed up superiority strike because it gives you an extra shield. You have cleansing impact, which is going to cleanse yourself, do one and a half times damage with a two turn cooldown. Ferocious strike, damage is increased 50% for three turns. It's a one times attack with a cooldown of three. You have precise impact, a one and a half times attack bypassing cloak and evasive abilities with a cooldown of one. Now this creature is immune to distractions as a passive move. It has raking counterattack as an additional passive move. When receiving and surviving direct damage, remove dodge, cloak, and attack as a one-time attack, which also bypasses armor. And finally, I feel like this is just a grocery list of things here. It has on escape cloud dust. When the opponent leaves, it gains 50% damage for two turns 
and becomes invincible for one turn. So all in all, doesn't look like a bad super hybrid. It doesn't look like the best super hybrid out there, but the availability to fuse this up to high levels is definitely there. I expect to see this in tournaments more than likely, and probably some people will figure out some OP ways to build it using boost that it will be probably seen in the battle arena, if not a mainstay at the lower arenas. So now let's take this into the campaign mode. Since I do have it at level 19, I kind of want to give it a little bit more of a challenge than we did for the common. If you missed the earlier video from today, there is a link for it here. You can check that out. Of note, this particular creature, Majungdaboa, does not have the revenge move. All right, as we enter into the campaign mode, man, I forgot how great Badlands looks. <laughs> this looks amazing. I'm gonna just open up with Majungdaboa. I know nothing about this creature. This is the first time I've messed with it at all. So I'm kind of interested to see how it plays out. Going up against a faster Draco Rex, I feel like if I can find my move sets here, I feel like going with a shielded decelerating strike is going to be the best option for me here. That is great. My opponent just tried to swap out. Now I'm going to have to remind myself what exactly that was because it does have the cloud dust. I know that I'm invincible for one turn and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that I have a 50% buff to my damage, which means that I could potentially be dropping a lot of damage. Now the invincibility did not work right there on the swap in ferocious attack. Kind of interesting, make sure you note that. So gain 50% damage for two turns. So I'm going to stack that with a ferocious strike, which is going to give me 50% damage for three turns. So let's see how this works out for me. Oh, wow. I mean, I would expect a 50% and then an additional 50% to do more than 1500. So basically it was, it was, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Basically it was a two times attack. I was actually trying to just see what my stats were. 710, it kind of looks like it was a two times attack. And I'm just smoking through these things now. Tenontosaurus, what do you got? Now, Tenontosaurus, this is just a level 11 creature. Uh, precise impact, Let's see what happens here. Again, they're gonna try to escape. I'm going to do my Cloud Dust, the shield, I'm invincible for one turn. Draco Rex is going to come in, and Draco Rex can actually smash through shields if I'm not mistaken. And it did the nullification. But graphically, my 50% bonus is still there, and that's not even going to matter. I did all kinds of crazy damage, and there's the peekaboo for the KO 2132. Like, there was a lot of damage that was just done right there. <laughs> so there you go. Like, it it looks impressive. Like I said, this is probably one that you will see people at least experimenting with in the battle arena. And if you are short on Titanoboa Gen 2 DNA, it is a dawn and dusk global spawn. So it should be easy to find as long as you were out during those time periods. Maybe you can use the free rare incubator that Ludia gifted everybody with 1.14's release to help yourself accumulate some DNA. I'm interested to see what kind of boosts people are willing to put into this particular Titanoboa. And since people think this could be the Yoshi counter, make sure you are subscribed with the alert notifications turned on because I will put together a video showing exactly how to play the Jungdaboa versus Yoshi in the battle arena. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you think about this new super hybrid epic creature? That's all I've got for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, this poor Dracoceratops doesn't stand much of a chance here. I'm doing, you know, like almost 4,200 damage. So it, it's, it's GG at this point for the poor Dracoceratops. And my opponent has left themselves with a Yudos Sinoraptor on very, very 